everyone, so it is now August, which means it's time for my July favourites, woohoo! But it also means that we are nearly at Christmas, like where is this year going seriously? I swear it was only January yesterday, but um, anyway, so yeah, July favourites. I haven't actually got a lot this month, so we'll go ahead and get started. Okay, so I've got four eyeshadow palettes, and these are the main four eyeshadow palettes that I've really been using this month. And um, the first one is this one, which is the Urban Decay Fun Palette, and this packaging is like super, super crazy and awesome, and I love it. So, um, I'm just gonna open it up. You get six eyeshadows in this, six super pigmented eyeshadows they are like really really awesome and then you also get this eyeliner which is called oil slick i believe yeah and this eyeliner is really really good it's super super creamy and you can smudge it out for a smoky look if you want it's also got a little bit of sparkle in it so it's like really really nice and I mean it when I say these colours are like super super pigmented if I just take this one which is called flip side look at that how crazy is that it's such a gorgeous colour as well like really really nice tealy blue colour so I've really, really been liking that palette this month. I've also been liking the eye primer that come with it. It come with, in like a little pack. When I can get the eye primer. It's just the original Urban Decay Primer Potion. This is just the mini size of it. This is the wand. It's a really, really good eye primer and I really, really do like it. Okay, so the next eyeshadow palette that I've really been liking is the Sunkissed eyeshadow palette. I picked it up for 149 I think it was, in a store called Discount UK. There are 12 eyeshadows in this and they are super, super pigmented. This has been my go-to every day when I've worn makeup eyeshadow look. Um, there are just some gorgeous colours in here you can do day looks, you can do night looks and the pigmentation on these is crazy. So I've just swatched this one, that's what it looks like, if I swatch it on the back of my hand, look how pigmented that is. And they are so easy to blend as well, they are all shimmery shades but they're just really really gorgeous and I've actually um, done my eyeshadow today with these. Okay, so the next eyeshadow palette I've really been liking this month is this one by Sleek. It's the Rio Rio limited edition one. But first of all, how cool is this packaging? Like seriously, it's really something that draws your eye and it's like, hmm, I'm going to have a look at that. So on the inside, it's just your usual black Sleek packaging. Um, you get a full length mirror and then these colours. So just take the uh, plastic off. I, I tend to keep all the plastic bits just because it's got all the name on it and everything. But these are the colours and how bright and colourful are they? They are really, really gorgeous and very pigmented. So just swatch a few. How bright they are. How awesome they are as well. Yeah, but this has kind of been one of my go-to um, palettes if I wanted to do a colourful eye look. And I just love Sleek to bits. They are absolutely amazing. And if you can get Sleek where you are, then I highly recommend them because they're awesome. Okay, so this next palette is also a Sleek palette and it's the Del Mar palette. So this is the uh, packaging for it. I think I have shown this one in a favourites before, but I've just been really loving it again this month. Again, it's another colourful palette. It does have a couple of um, neutral shades in it, so it's good for doing a neutral look or a colourful look, and I just really, really like this palette. And those two sleep palettes have been my two of my favourite palettes this month, and two of my go-to palettes this month as well, because they've just been completely awesome. Sticking with eye makeup things, I've really been liking that these two eyeshadow sticks this month. This one is the Scandalize in uh, Bulletproof Beige. 
and I just really like using this as a base because the scandal eyes are like really really creamy and they're easy to blend eyeshadow into and um, they're just really nice to work with and they're waterproof so they do tend to last quite a while as well and I find that if I don't use primer under them they don't crease either which I really really like so I've been liking that this month and I've also been liking this Barry M shimmering eye and lip crayon it's just a baby blue colour but this has just been a really really great colour for my inner corner again it's creamy it's awesome I'm not quite sure if you're gonna be able to see this it's that one there and very easy to blend into again and I absolutely love it Um, another eye makeup related thing that I've been loving this month is the Ico Skinny Liquid Liner and yeah I've heard good things about this and um, it is really good I find you can do thick lines with it you can do thin lines with it you can do any kind of line with it and it's just really really good it doesn't smudge and it dries really really quickly which I like in an eyeliner and um, yeah I do really really like this one it's very very good so I do recommend it I would go as far as to say as it's better than the collection um, extreme felt tip one which I love using <laughs> so absolutely love that one uh, this I've been lo absolutely loving this mascara again this month I don't know if I've shown this in my last favourites or not but it's the Maybelline Colossal Volume Mascara this is the waterproof version it's got a really nice wand on it and this is just really really great I love the formula and it's true what they do say about um, waterproof mascaras they do keep your lashes curl for longer I mean this is the one I'm wearing today I don't know if you can tell or not but it really spreads the lashes out makes them look <laughs> volumized and awesome and it actually makes it look like i'm wearing false lashes so absolutely love that to bits um the next thing i've been loving is this blush from rimmel this is in live pink and um, and when i first saw this blush it reminded me very much of um rose gold from sleek just because it is that pinky shade with gold shimmer in it and um, the only thing about this is it is a little bit darker than um the sleek one and i do tend to put a little bit too much on when i use this um, i'm actually wearing it now but i really really do like it it's not chalky like some blushes can be and i really absolutely love it to bits okay so the next thing that i've been really liking this month are the scarlet and crimson face mattifying powders powders papers and um, this is what they look like they just really are just paper but these are really really good and um, these are really really good if you go out anywhere and you feel like you just need to blot your face quickly you can just take one of these and just quickly blot your face and they are really really good I've noticed that if I have needed to do this throughout the day like blot my face that it does actually stay in matter for longer after I've done it um, and I just tend to take these in my handbag with me if I'm going out anywhere and I really really do like them so and I do recommend them if you can get hold of them as well this next thing I have a love-hate relationship with and it's the Maybelline baby lips this one's in mango pie the reason I have a love-hate relationship with it is because it's really really nice it smells nice it's very moisturizing the only thing I hate about it is the aftertaste um, because for some reason I don't know if it's just me but it leaves a really really horrible aftertaste after I've used it um, but I really do like them it, they are really moisturizing and I do prefer these to the Nivea ones and you know me I love Nivea as a rule but <laughs> um, I do recommend the baby lips another thing another lip product that I've been really really liking this month is the um, Lush lip scrub. This was one of the first things that I bought from Lush. I also bought a bath bomb and I really really like that one. It smelled absolutely gorgeous. Um, yeah, so this is the bubblegum lip scrub. I know they do a mint one and a popcorn one. Um, very well loved as you could probably tell. And 
it smells gorgeous it tastes gorgeous because after you've used this you just lick your lips because it's edible and it is really really good because i get really horrible dry chapped lips and i find that it actually really helps with that so definitely a favorite for this month and if you can get a hold of it i recommend these lip scrubs okay so the Second to last thing that I've been loving this month are these Revlon Fast Dry Nail Polishes. Um, this one's Invitation Only, which is just a nice shimmery green. This one's Black Magic, which is just a black nail polish. And this one's Diva, which is red. Um, these dry like that, literally. I just put one coat on and they are pretty opaque with one coat. I just put one coat on. Um, left it for a couple of seconds just went like that and it was dry and it they are really really amazing you don't have to use a top coat with them i found because they do um tend to last quite a long while on their own but i use a top coat anyway and i absolutely love them i got them from poundland so i don't know if they do actually do them in like boots or super drug anymore um but they are really really good so if you can get hold of them i recommend them and the final thing that I've been loving this month is this little guy right here. This is the E Eagle tablet. <laughs> and it really, really is amazing. I use this to check like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, um, and my emails if I haven't got my phone on me, which I do sometimes tend to leave my phone just lying about places. I know I'm like so irresponsible with my phone, but it's just... <laughs> It's like that small, I tend to forget about it sometimes. So um, I've nearly always got my tablet on me like around the house. I very rarely take it out there with me. I am taking it on holiday with me though. So um, it's such a good little thing as well. And it's just easy, like the screen's a lot bigger than my phone. So if I do need to read somewhere, I can read it a lot easier. And I do really, really like my tablet. Okay, not a lot, as I said. Um, but then again, I haven't really been buying a lot of makeup, you know, because we're going on holiday. Woohoo! Um, and I am going to be doing a what's in my makeup slash skincare bag because I've managed to fit them all into one bag for some reason. And um, that will probably be up sometime before the 9th of August because that's when we go on holiday. I hope you're all having a good day. Stay beautiful, stay awesome, and I shall see you all soon. Bye!